And very welcome back to Sid's Modded Life, episode 70 with me, Sid. And uh, today, well, we did a, a kind of a, 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 a yakky episode, I suppose, for want of a better word, a bit of a chatty episode last time, talking about my favourite number and plans and the fact we didn't install... Um, a thing and a other thing and other things like that however today i want to go and do a few more bits and pieces on astral sorcery now one thing we are very short on is crystals so the first thing i want to do is i want to put my bat wings away and i want to activate that obviously we've got the gem so we're fine and what we actually need is wherever it is uh, there, no. Where is my? Where is my astral sorcery one? Hmm. There. Right. We need to go and find some more hoofers, uh, crystals. So we're gonna head down here. I think. We you know. Uh, out there there's some uh one there i believe all right don't mind me uh i think it was all one over here and basically just whiz around and get a few uh crystal formations sorted all nice and close to home um there creeper over there a little bit a little bit disconcerting having hi how are you doing how are you doing little fella all right let's go find some more uh there was some there definitely some there find more want more and these torches should be pretty obvious uh, now what I do need to do some areas might not have hmm new terrain gen others will and that's where I think we're hitting our problems let's head over this way a little bit and see what we can find um, as long as we remember roughly where we went and where we found the crystals, we should be fine. I don't know why they're being so tight now. Hmm. Yeah, so obviously we need to find those, dig down, grab the crystals. Ah, there you go. There's some here, look. Uh, there. Get, find the crystals, dig them up, and I want to have a look at some of the features such as um, improving crystals. I think that could be. Because we've not really played with that, and it's unconscious. It's something we. Oh, go away. You're not going to. Get me. All I'm going to do is make you fall into some water or something, and then you'll go away and you'll get bored. Um, they really are not wanting to give me any more. I mean, there's those few there. And then we are running rapidly. Now, again, these... Uh, ah, there's some there, look. Hi. What's that? You got an enchanted bow. All right. So we've got a few. We'll uh, we'll just deal with the uh, chucklehead here. Uh, what we'll do is we'll head back up here for the time being, let everything despawn, and uh, and then we'll go and grab some more crystals. So back in the mail. Oh, 
All oh, right. Um, well, that was that was productive. I think is the word I'm looking for here. I've got um, well, we've got this, which is our existing stash of rock crystals, and now we've got this, which is our next stash of rock crystals. Uh, there's a, a mixture of big and small and pure and crap and good and you know all the and the gamut of things in the meantime so that was things but what I did find down there while I was um, fertling was well there was something I forgot that we got in this pack and I'm going to have to go back and make something for this I, I honestly completely forgot this mod was in here um, and it kind of makes sense when you consider that the, the purpose of this mod is to have fun um, so you know things like the excavators things like the cavern dimensions all of these things are all there to make it so having resources um, become easier and what we've got is the bedrock ores mod and I discovered some bedrock ores for the first time in 70 episodes. So we need to make one of these. And at the moment, we need to make one of them, uh, which we can. And then we can make one of them, uh, which we can. That will give us that. So if we make one of the two of those, which we can, then we should be good to make one of them. And if I remember rightly, I don't, it does not look like it requires anything next to it, but I'm guessing we're going to need some kind of chest or let's go with a diamond chest maybe and we'll take a vanilla chest with us as well. I'm going to quickly sleep because obviously it's in the desert and we don't want to inadvertently, you know, get blown up or out. Now, the, the ore we found was, well, not the most useful ore. Um... It's potentially useful if I wanted to do beacons and things, but you know I've got a fair amount of gold already. I could have really done with like a copper or a iron would have been more useful. However, you know beggars, choosers, and all that kind of thing. So we'll head back and uh, we'll see how this thing works. It's probably changed a bit since I did a mod spotlight on it. So uh, yeah. <laughs> Okay, I sneezed and I shall be back in a second. Okay, here we are. This is the hole. This is where we're going to go. And this is the eel. Now, uh, I'm going to plonk this on top of here. And I'm going to give you a... Hmm. Why you no do nothing? Do I need to... No. In a while since we've looked at this, I think, do we need a redstone signal or what? Um, I need to double check what's going on here then, don't I? Because it, does it... Hmm, nope. Okay, we need to double check this. I'll be back in a second. All right, I think we have it. Um, so we're going to give it a diamond chest. And then if I go into... Here I should have uh, a flux now. It will take it will take coal, but it will also take that. It's noisy as well. Well, it'll just keep going. It's not using. A huge amount of power, so we'll just uh, well actually before we do that, we should probably hang on. Uh, if I go here.
Let's just do that and we'll keep those loaded. We've got enough then we can unload them later. Um Yeah. Just leave that to it. Forget about it. So the Bedrock Cores is a, it's a particularly interesting little mod um, because it, it does create this this vast reservoir of um, of resources. But there at Bedrock, you have to mine right down at Bedrock. Obviously, you've got the danger of the uh, mining into lava and all of that kind of thing. But I thought it was interesting, and I completely forgot that it was in here. <laughs> uh, yeah, let's just not mention that, shall we? Uh, let me send some stuff back and we can get on with hmm. okay so crystals we can grow crystals and if we were to take let's go in here and find a reasonably large one to start with 331 346 is bigger 348 is even bigger than that can we beach can we beat beach can we beat 348 can we any advance on 348 354 yes can we beat 354 any advance on 354 354 354 looks to be the biggest now if we go and just check right where am i uh, oh i meant to fill that with kate didn't i Astral Sorcery, let's pop you down, grab that one out, and let's just double check, because I, I'm not 100% certain I've got this crystal growing malarkey right. Um, now, I'm fairly certain it's not in here, because you've got ancient shrines, you've got ores, but that's about it. So... After discovery, we would then go to exploration, and at that point, we can do the light well. We can do crystal growth. Here we go. Upon immersing single crystal into this strange cold ethereal liquid, some of it clings onto the crystal. On closer inspection, it almost seems like the liquid starlight solid solidified on the surface through it. Quickly starts to melt off again when removed, undoing the temporarily added mass, leaving it in the liquid long enough might permanently increase the size. If a crystal were to be made larger, perhaps multiples of some items could be crafted from one crystal. Okay. You wonder what would happen if a full gun crystal was continuously submerged in starlight liquid and what it would mean for its purity. Okay. And then we end up in rock crystal properties, so it's unique. Da -da -da. So you can change it, yeah, you can make crystal tools you can put it on a grindstone that will sharpen it I believe uh, <clears throat> frequent inspection when doing so is recommended as an intensive grinding will reduce crystal to nothing mechanical hands are there okay well it seems like we're doing it right I'm just not getting it and then if we were to a, a tune a crystal okay yeah we've got all that kind of thing we can, can be on, on with uh now there was there's also this the blue old blue crystal which i, I can find it so Celestial crystals. The resulting fully grown crystal cluster yielded a much larger crystal. Okay, and that is obviously the enhanced crystal collector. Stardust appears to be far more useful. The little grains occasionally flash in once you've not found any direct uses by rubbing it on various celestial items revealed it readily bonds to the surface of rock crystals and thin but rough coatings. It's not helpful in itself. Okay, since removal that would leave you at uh Okay. I think we're I think we're there. So if we were to take this to hundred percent, let's get hmm. I say I think we're there. I have got a clue. Let's take one, two, three, four, four. Let's take eight of these. Why eight? Why not? And let me empty my 
Ok. Sur moi. Hmm. Uh, yeah, that'll do me. I'll empty it into an existing water source. That'll get rid of it without me wrecking the place. And we've left the light source behind. Cool. Okay. So, armed with a bucket and some glass and some things, we're going to very quickly make a space for that. And we're going to take a bucket of liquid starlight, pop it in there. This is 354. Oh, yeah. We need to turn you off. You are off, aren't you? So we'll leave it in there. It will do its thing, and I'll be back in a moment. All right. This crystal is now 400 in size. Its purity is no better now I want to just try I'm guessing you do no okay let's have a look how how can we make the the blue crystal that's just to make the tools okay I mean it kind of suggests that you would just mix it and well that's obviously out of the air out of the Hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Where's the old thing? So, clearly that's not what was intended. Let me just go and get another bucket of this going anyway. Because, while well, we can. Uh, I want to see if we can't get this thing to grow. This one, which is a, a middle-range purity I am going to infuse and I'm going to use that to generate starlight because it lasts for ages and now we've got a few more of these crystals it will be so much the better so uh, yeah uh, and again I shall be back in a while Okay, maybe this is it. I've chucked the stardust in the um, liquid starlight with the crystal. And, yeah, it's doing something different. There's definitely a uh, different particle effect going on. So, maybe that's what we should have done. Um, but we've got a reasonable amount of liquid starlight, and we haven't even thrown the attuned rock crystal in yet. So, uh, there we go. It is... It has done something. Now, can you... What do you do with that? Do you just grow it? Uh, or does it does it grow naturally? Is it growing? I can't tell. Looks like it may be growing. Blah, blah, blah. Cluster to grow with starlight shining on it may create something useful. Okay. Therefore, I suggest it's probably growing. Okay, well, that's good. We'll leave that for a while, let it grow. And uh, uh, while we're waiting on that, one of the things I would like to do is I would like to get a... Uh, let me get there. We need to get the right thing. I think it's a wand. It is this one, the illumination wand. We need some rock crystal, starlight. We need a resonating gem and some bits. Let's go and get what we need. And uh, again, I shall be back with you in a sec. All right, so armed with that, we should be able to... Let's have a look. That goes down one. Then we have that and that. That in the middle, is that right? That there, yep. And then a crystal. I've just gone for a couple of crap ones. Hopefully that isn't a problem. And let's get it. It's going. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Noisy mod. Ah. 
and mm-hmm mm. kind of taking it oh, there we go that gives us what we wanted which of course is the illumination one which means we can we can go and use these wherever we want however before we go mad doing that 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 is definitely growing, it's just very slow. Um, so maybe we should make one or two of those and, and see how they go. Um, what I want... What do you do? What? There we go. Craft you with a purple, and we're going to get a purple illumination wand. Which means that, of course, now... We can go to town with the illumination, whereas before we've been using this, we can obviously, illumination powder, we can come out and we can put nice little purple glows about the place, which will be nice. Um, another thing this thing does is it, it can make blocks transparent and virtually indestructible you should not be able to do anything to that these are witherproof which gives us a whole load of possibilities for um, wither containment going forward however one of the things I would like to do this episode apart from I'd like to probably build this up a little bit um, I but I would also like to um, try and get us to the final level of Celestial Altar. Which is why we're going for these blue uh, things. Because the, if we get the book, um, if, if we might not be able to do it this episode, I mean, I might be, I might be shooting too high. Um, oops. There we go, that's the end of it. So, we're going to need to do... that. I want to get, do, get into this as well, Stellar Refractions Table, because that's pretty impressive stuff as well. But this use, uses a Celestial Crystal, or an Attuned Celestial Crystal, and a few bits and pieces to get to the Iridescent Alt, which is the maximum tier of uh, things. Um, and, yeah... Once we've done that, we need to build this, and then, and then we will have the maximum tier of thingies. So that's good. Um, the other thing I'm wondering is if this would actually work faster if I were to borrow a or make another attuned um, collector. Let's try a crystal, shall we, guys? Yeah. I mean, they're not expensive, so we could make one of those quickly. Let me get one of those put together, and I shall be right back with you. All right. Uh, crystal. <laughs> I can't really think of any, any other thing to say. Crystal. We need some uh, building blocks just to use as a base. Uh, a few of those will do fine just to get us up the top uh, and what I would like to do is I would like you to be no yeah maybe maybe one more no there uh, and I'd like to place this yeah and then I would like to link it To that and hopefully that will see we are I would say we're about there I don't think we're there yet maybe we are there I don't know it's difficult to tell um, can you actually 
Oh, there we go. That was a growth, a little growth, but no, there isn't a visible growth. So that is definitely... bigger. Uh, I don't think you're there yet, though. I think we need to wait till it gets to that point. Just take that out of the way for the time being. Uh, in fact, we can probably just leave that in there. Actually, I know what will look better to do that. Um... We'll go over and borrow a little bit of mana, shall we? Mana glass, that's going to look really nice for that. Uh, yeah. Uh, we'll do it from here. Because. And then we can pop that back in and it'll look, it'll look like the dogs. Uh, okay, let's have a see. How big do we think this is yet? Do we think this is fully grown? I don't think there's much more growth to be had out of it. Hmm. So clearly, doing that improves that that's that's a thing uh i'm going to take a gamble that this is ready i'm going to use a fortune pick on it and we are going to get a celestial crystal excellent that's what we wanted right um do we need you for anything else other than we need you for those these are a little bit highbrow for our point right now um, I don't think we need it for specifically for those these are just like it can be used and you can whack it in there and it will it will make you know starlight uh, right we've got you so what do we what do we actually use you for we want to use you for this and that means I need a glass lens and four more resonating gems I'll get those done, and I'll get the other bits together, and I'll be back with you in a sec. All right. Um, we should be in a position to update this altar. It's going to take a wee bit, because this is... Well, I presume it's going to take a long bit. It's a big... the final altar. Um, and then obviously we need to build a structure around it, which is entertaining. But let's just see how this goes. There we go. Oh, hello. We have a spark. I learned more about radiance, uh, which means that we've now got this box here, which gives us all sorts of entertaining things to play with, uh, including the observatory. Um, focus crafting. Uh, first, it's crafting would be true. The during the day will no longer cancel the craft, merely halt it until so. That's cool. The result is the crafted items concentrate. Uh, okay. Stuff, stuff and things and different attune wand attunement. Um, okay, so that. Uh, yeah, it'll do things. <laughs> However, this right now will do nothing because it really doesn't have a clue as to what it's doing. So we need to come back out of here, go all the way out of this face box up here, come back down to Constellation, and we need to go and look at this so we need to make sure we have got 49 sooty marble now that basically should be a one two three four five six one two three four five six seven by seven uh so seven by seven the sooty marble is correct and then here we can take all of this lot out Um, because that is no longer necessary. 
and if we have a look at the book we should see that we have got these and those so that hasn't changed with those around the edge that hasn't changed so the base of this hasn't changed at all it's all about the side here and that is going to be four ruined and eight marble pillars well in which case I didn't need to rip those out at all one dirt <laughs> god a little bit of lag there two one two one two one two okay and then we go from there so it keeps basically but it works oh, well I wish I'd I wish I'd realized that before I started embarked upon this path of destruction uh, and then what we need is brick by the looks of it I haven't got any marble on me, but we should have plenty down here, so let's go and grab some. Uh, and then a quick grab of that, and we can turn you into Astral Sorcery Brick. Wow. Okay, and then from here we're doing what? Let's have a look. We're going two and then three either way. Easy. Oh, well, it would be if I didn't destroy the other blocks. Let's get that done. And then one two and one two so i've got that to repeat and i'll be back in a sec all right and there we have it the good old celestial thing i borrowed the relays from up there there's a few more here but we'll uh, we'll replace those at some point um but we have got a fully upgraded celestial altar um and it looks glorious, uh, especially with the purple extra lights flashed around the place. We might manage to get away, away with those actually. Let me just uh, let me just see uh, if I F seven. How are we? Um, 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 am I in F seven mode or not? I don't know. No, no, we are not going to get away without those. So the question is, can I do this with a little bit of, instead of having them plastered there, can we have them a little bit more subtly placed? So say, that's the wrong one. <laughs> Maybe there. Will that help? I think it will. Perfect. Um, so, on that note, we are here with a fully upgraded Celestial Altar. Next thing we need to do is think about completing this build. We need to do something off this way. Um, I've been passing the time by filling in as much of this dirt, and we've got a fairly large amount of space over here, so that's a good thing we are going to need to actually get on and do what i want to do with the britannia uh, and there is a very specific thing i want to do with britannia um but on that note i'm going to call it an episode until next time thank you very much for watching guys and i'll see you soon bye for now <laughs>